Let me bring you some breaking news out of Scotland. Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon's just announced her resignation after more than eight years. Sturgeon's been in the position since 2014. This decision is not a reaction to short-term pressures. Of course, there are difficult issues confronting the government just now, but when is that ever not the case? I have spent almost three decades in frontline politics, a decade and a half on the top or second top rung of government. When it comes to navigating choppy waters, resolving seemingly intractable issues, or soldiering on when walking away would be the simpler option, I have plenty of experience to draw on. So if this was just a question of my ability or my resilience to get through the latest period of pressure, I wouldn't be standing here today, but it's not. This decision comes from a deeper and longer term assessment. We're going to get more on this with Rory Challens in London. Rory, uh, I understand Nicola Sturgeon, in fact, is still carrying on making that statement at the moment. This, in many ways, is, is an upheaval in Scottish politics, given the length of time she's been in office. What has she been saying in this statement? Yeah, you're certainly right about an, an upheaval. I mean, we, we're used to, at the moment, aren't we, upheaval uh, in Westminster politics with prime ministers coming and going uh, with a dizzying speed. But north of the border, things have been much, much more stable uh, for many, many years. Nicola Sturgeon, the longest-serving uh, uh, first minister of, of Scotland, she said that stepping down was a very hard decision uh, to make, but that as a leader, you have to kind of intuitively know when the time is right uh, to make way for someone else. And she thinks that that time is now. She said that there were a couple of questions uh, that she has been asking herself recently. The first of those is, is carrying on right for me? Uh, and the second of them is, is me carrying on right for the country uh, and right for the party? And she said recently uh, she wasn't so convinced that the answer uh, to both of those questions uh, was yes. She talked about the personal toll that the uh, pressures of the job ha had been taking on her. She said she wasn't expecting violins for this, but there's only so long, she said, that you can give everything to a job. It takes its toll, and more so recently, she was suggesting the pandemic, she said, was particularly tough. And also, she was hinting at perhaps decisions that she's taken, choices that she's made, positions that she holds that aren't necessarily shared uh, by the rest of her party, uh, and that in stepping down, she would free uh, the party to choose a new leader uh, and go forward. Now, as for the timeline of that, there will, of course, be a process uh, which is going to start now uh, to choose uh, the next leader of the Scottish National Party uh, and that Nicola Sturgeon will be staying on in her role until that process uh, is completed. We don't know how long that's going to take, but that's the process that has to be done. Rory, thank you very much indeed. Rory Challenge bringing us up to date there. Thank you.